Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amy. And as you can see right behind me, we have a lot of new season clothing. Yes, we are changing seasons. It is getting so cold. So I'm going to show you every single piece, try on everything and do a little bit of luxury haul unboxing as well. This video is in partnership with Farfetch. Thank you so much to Farfetch for sponsoring part of this haul. Yes, that means I have my own discount code to share with you guys. I will put it right here in the screen. It's Amy10YT. It is a limited time coupon. It is only going to be live for 30 days. There are going to be certain brand restrictions, but everything that I'm going to talk about and feature right here is included. This code is for new customers only. If you're not already familiar with Farfetch, then let me tell you why I love shopping at Farfetch so much. Not only is it a one-stop online shopping platform of more than 3,000 different brands, I love that they support small businesses that way. Let's say there's this really cute boutique somewhere in Europe and they carry the most amazing curated brands. Items that are very hard to find, but you would otherwise not be able to buy it unless it's online because you don't live there. So Farfetch allows all of these small businesses to have access to an online platform to sell their things, not only in person in their own boutique, but also online, which gives all of us access, especially if I really can't find it anywhere and I can't even try it in person, then I just try to find it on Farfetch because they usually have all the sizes because basically they connect you with all the boutiques around the world. I decided to venture out to a couple of designers that I've never tried, but even brands like Sandro or Maj, we only have one store here in Vancouver. And in fact, if you count the outlet store, I guess, that's two. A lot of times uh, it's just not convenient for me to go or maybe they're out of stock. And to be honest, the prices on Farfetch are much more competitive in a way because these brands are European brands. Maj and Sandro are French brands. So I actually end up saving more money just buying them online anyway. I match it with my own outfits at the comfort of my own home. Shipping is super fast. Ordered these on Thursday last week and I received it today already. Today is Monday from Europe, which is even faster shipping than within Canada. You have 14 days from the day of your delivery to return your items. Just book your return online and then um, DHL will come over and pick it up from your house. You don't even have to step outside of your own home. Oh, and one of the best part, which I don't think is applicable in every single country, is because I can shop in my own currency. So I'm from Canada. I can shop and pay with my Canadian credit card. That alone is amazing because it means that if there's anything that doesn't work, I know that the return won't penalize me in the currency conversion. If you're like my husband, sneakerhead, oh my goodness, you have this whole section where you can find very, very hard to come by sneakers. A lot of times, if he buys it in the wrong size, then that's it. You just you just have to keep it or sell it. With Farfetch, not only do you get to buy these very hard to find sneakers that you couldn't get yourself, but you also get to try the size at home. And if it doesn't work out, you can just ship it back. It's super easy. If you're into vintage or pre-owned, they also have a whole section where you get to buy um, vintage Chanel. Last but not least, one of my favorite part is that they have their own loyalty program. And yes, that is super important. Birthday perks, exclusive private sale or early sales. Uh, if you're in the really high tier, you even get like concierge. Anyway, I'll have all of those things that I mentioned linked down below, including the stadium good, the pre-owned. As you can see, we have some pretty exciting new pieces right here. These are all from the new fall winter ready to wear season. And then we have some pieces right there. Actually, this is mine too, that I'm going to style together with the new pieces. I'm so excited to be showing you the best ever leather pants that I found and a couple of new brands that I've never tried and I'm so excited to show you. They are absolutely stunning. I'm going to stand up right now and change the camera angle, go through every single piece that I picked. Let's talk about the pants first. So I am already wearing one pair. These are frame denim, the ultra light barrel denim jeans from frame like i said and i got mine in size 24 by the way this size i i don't know what it is it's always sold out so i'm just so happy that i was able to find it it fits me perfectly on the waist it's actually 
super comfortable packs my hips and you guys already know i have a rectangular shape like a straighter body type less of a ratio of you know waist to hip ratio so um i love it when pants fit me really well right here and it doesn't suffocate me every single female body is so different i know but my own issue is that i don't have a ton of curves and so every time i shop for pants it is just impossible i love the barrel shape because it gives me more shape um, on my legs and yet it's super comfortable on the waist area it goes super well with a little tank top as you can see right now this is one of my own tank tops i have a couple of older season barrel frame denim that i showed you guys in a previous haul so those are amazing those are have those have a pleated design and it's slightly more tapered so this one is slightly more clean i guess and it actually just looks really good so love 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 these all of these came from different places around the world so these frame denim ultra high rise barrel tapered jeans came from a little boutique called bruna rosso in italy by the way frame denim is also a sustainable brand they use a lot of recycled cotton so if you're about sustainable fashion frame denim is one of the brands that does that up next we have one of my favorite french brand maj so i found the most perfect leather pants i'm not even joking i have been on the hunt for a pair of leather pants for ages whether it's real leather or faux leather i haven't been able to find anything that looks nearly as perfect as these on me slightly flared leather pants they don't even look that flare on me they just look like perfect length they look so sleek, no like creasing in the weird places and the softest ever material. If you think that lambskin on bags are soft, imagine on your skin. Just look at the leather. It's so buttery soft, yet it doesn't feel like it's super easy to scratch. It's just so beautiful. It's very, very soft. The cut is amazing. Um, like I said, it's it's supposed to be slightly flared, but it just looks like straight cut on me, which is really, really pretty. It has a couple of back pocket. It has these loops for a belt. And it's just the most perfect, oh, it's just the most perfect pair of leather pants that I've ever found. And I'm so glad that I finally found one. So I got mine in size 36. I might even be able to size down because leather does stretch over time so I'll I'll think about it. Those of you who don't know this brand, Maj is a French brand. Sandro and Maj are some of my um, favorite brands to shop at. Two sisters that founded these two brands and uh, they were the labels were founded in late 1990s and they've since expanded all over the world and uh, only recently they opened their stores in Vancouver, the main store in downtown, which is why it's kind of hard to find things from this brand. One of my most favorite pair of jeans that I own is from Sandro. And so when I saw this one in their fall winter collection, I just had to try it because just from the picture, it looked like it would fit my body type really, really well. And it does. It's just superb. I have been looking for a pair of black or kind of dark grayish skinny jeans I do have a lot of skinny jeans because I mainly lived in skinny jeans before not only because my legs are very skinny but um, they just work with all kinds of outfits throw a cardigan on top and you're good to go I'm sure you've tried your fair share of skinny jeans a lot of them have too much stretch and you can feel like the material is just not going to last for many years to come because it's just such a flimsy stretchy material but these ones are just the perfect ratio of stretchy material but still firm enough and you know that it will last for a long time i know because i have um basically a very similar pair in blue that is from sandro and like i said they are sister company so this one the moment i tried it on i just knew it was exactly like my blue pair but in black which i've been looking for the black version of this in my size so i take a size 36 beautiful material just goes with everything so if you're looking for a staple pair of really good quality skinny jeans look no further than maj and sandro they are just amazing um 
So this fits true to size for sure. This one, I would say it's still true to size. Um, but I just wonder if I could size down because I do know that leather uh, will stretch. One more item from Maj and then we'll move on to another brand. This is the cutest, cutest little tweed jacket. It has all these sequins all over and even the buttons are really, really pretty. They don't feel cheap at all. It's just right in between. It's just heavy enough and good quality and also neutral enough that it doesn't look like fast fashion or anything. It just is a beautiful jacket. These are real pockets um, and the sleeves look like that. And it's just a really cute crop jacket that just looks amazing. It has a little pleat here. And apparently this one I checked on their website is a limited edition item. So I'm not even sure they would even carry it in our store since we only have the one store. I got mine in size one. So it goes by one, two, three, four for their tops. On the inside where it's not lined, such as the collar part and maybe just the ends of the sleeves, does feel a little scratchy just because of the sequins. This kind of gives me a little bit of the Chanel vibe when I wear it. Obviously the material is not the same. It's a thin polyester tweed, but still it's just very well made. The cutting is super cute. So the three Maj pieces came all the way from France from the actual Maj warehouse. Hence the actual invoices in the official documents. Right, up next we have this cute little number. Doesn't it look super familiar guys? Because it's from Self Portrait, one of my favorite brands you guys already know. I own a very similar cardigan that I bought from last year. So this is just the new season one which is slightly more cropped and has more of a balloon sleeve than this one. This one has more of the shoulder detail. I love this one so much because it is just so easy to throw on. It's the color red, which is great for any sort of celebration like Chinese New Year, Christmas. I can wear it as a cardigan or I can wear it as a little shirt, which I often do. So I thought I would get the newest season one, just black and white, super neutral. You can wear it as a cardigan. 77% cotton and 18% wool. Whereas uh, I think the red one is more wool versus cotton. But anyway, it's the same feeling. It just feels very comfortable. It has natural fibers. It's just a very cute design. It has these bejewel buttons, a couple of um, decorated pockets. And like I said, this one is the new season with slightly puffed up sleeves and slightly cropped. It's just so easy to throw on when you don't know what to wear. So the self-portrait stripe crop cardigan came from a boutique called G&G &G in Italy. Two of the most beautiful lace camisole that I have laid my eyes on. So you might think that these are nothing special, just a lace camisole, but I tell you guys, fit and comfort is the most important when it comes to choosing pieces to add to my wardrobe. Yes, sometimes I will compromise and sort of keep something that is slightly scratchy. The material and the fit has to be something that I feel like I want to reach for all the time. Um, that is super important because that will get you cost for work. In fact, there is actually two other cardigans that looks like a tweed jacket from Self Portrait that I really, really wanted to buy, but I just didn't like the fact that it was scratchy and so I decided against it. One, for the material, and second of all, unfortunately, even the size small was too oversized for me. And normally, I'm not against oversized, but for those two cardigans slash jacket, I feel like I wanted them to fit a certain way and it didn't. So in the end, I decided not to go for them, but they are absolutely stunning, especially the black one. Back to these two garments, why are they so amazing? Is because it is made of silk. So not only that, you guys already know that I love silk. I love wearing a little tank top and just throw a cardigan on top. That's always how I've been dressing uh, for warmer weather and even for the summer that's how i dress too but i just haven't found a lace version of a silk top that just fits like a glove and that doesn't move around i think one of the reasons why is because the silk is stretchy the straps are also adjustable the lace detail is not limited to just this part but also 
on the rib cage. You can easily tuck it in your tighter high-waisted jeans and it will not budge. These are absolute staples and I wish they made it in more colors. I should mention where they're from. It's actually a new brand that I decided to explore called Pinko. Let's look at the lace detail around the rib cage. I'm showing you the, the ivory version so that's easier to see. It drapes beautifully. It hugs your body. It's not too tight. I did get mine in a size 40, Italian 40. Just look at all the different seams. It doesn't have too much length and bulk so that it's not hard to tuck in and once it's tucked it just stays. These two came straight from the Italian warehouse Pinko so it came straight from the brand itself and because I wasn't aware of this brand uh, I had to do a little bit of research. So Pinko is uh, a contemporary brand that was started by um, the still the current CEO. I think his name is Pietro something. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, it was started by him and his wife and it's still in the family. Uh, even their daughters, both of their daughters are still working in the, in the company. So that's really, really cool. And they have also since expanded quite a bit. Again, this is a new brand. I've had my eye on this brand for a while because I always thought that their design was very, it's very minimalist, but yet it looks cool at the same time. So it's the brand MS. GM established in 2009 in Milan and the designer is Massimo George Getty. He especially designs and curates his collection, his ready-to-wear collection around materials such as denim, sweatshirts and accessories. He is known for his contemporary and unique style with inspiration coming from a wide range of art, film and music. And apparently he broke through the Italian borders and became known internationally in a very, very short time, which makes a lot of sense because I have noticed his pieces, MSGM, this brand, for a while. And I always thought that their dresses and just the shape is like very geometric and just so stunning. It's like visually very stunning. By the way, Pinko was established in the late 80s. Why? I love it so much. Not only was I after a very bright pink blazer since the Jacquemus really oversized one that everyone's been raving about but I just never could pull the trigger on that one because it's way too oversized and I'm too short for that one. Uh, this one is still oversized but the reason why this one works is because of the cut. Not only is it oversized in the right places so drop shoulder, oversized shoulders and longer body obviously yes but they still make the arms slim, which is so important because otherwise it would just look like you're floating in the jacket, but that you're just trying to fit in. Whereas this one, it does look oversized, but it still looks like it needs for me oversized, if that makes sense. Anyway, that is not even the best part. The best part is once I received this jacket, I found out that it's made of sweatshirt material. How cool is that, guys? Not only is it so comfortable like it absolutely is the most comfortable thing that i want to live in you can tell the difference between a designer piece that is well thought out and a fast fashion whatever jacket that is made of cheap material and the best part is machine washable they made in italy so see guys i mean it's it's big because it's an oversized jacket obviously it does have a little bit of shoulder pad and a slightly dropped shoulder because of the size the oversizedness but the sleeves are not humongous i mean it's still has room but it's not humongous it actually fits my arms and it's the coolest jacket ever it has real pockets i just have to cut them open stitch the label on the sleeves right here so the model was wearing a size small but she was like 1 meter 80 whereas you know i'm only 163 164 maybe so obviously i had to do uh extra small so this is an extra small i wish i was a bit taller because they are still a bit long but since it's meant to be oversized and still there's a nice shape to it i decided that it still fits me and that uh, my search for that perfect pink blazer jacket that looks really cool uh, is finally over. The sleeves and also just this part right here is lined so just FYI and like I said it's the most comfortable jacket 
I can see myself traveling in this. So the MSGM Off Center button blazer is from a boutique in Italy called Gruppo Pritelli. I also try to style these things with my existing clothes. So this was a Balmain blazer that I bought last year actually also from Farfetch and I also bought the matching skirt and this goes really really well with the navy little top underneath it's just the perfect combo my Balmain blazer which I sold the other two colors that I have but I ended up keeping the black one especially a lot of you were very very adamant that I keep it this one you guys would have remembered I also bought it from Farfetch this year last but not least these are some of my favorite ready to wear also both from Balmain bought from also Farfetch last year and uh, I think this current season they have it in the gold button which is very very pretty I'll link it down below <laughs> so in this bag right here I have this small box and you guys will love this because I absolutely love it in fact I'm trying to track another piece that is in the same family uh, so this was from 21B so from last season not the current season and yes it's a piece of jewelry it is the heart pearl pendant so this is their regular pendant version which um, is adjustable it has two lengths I love Chanel necklaces for that reason because they have the long setting and the short setting which you can make it slightly shorter bubble heart is just a uh, faux pearl material and I love these long necklaces because I could just throw them on really really quickly. This is how it would look like on the long setting and I think for this top it will look better in the shorter setting. So let me just adjust that. You can drape this in front if you want or you can drape it in the back, the little dangling part in the back so that it will also have you know add a little bit of detail on your back. There we have it, a little bit of CC here on the side. And this one I only found very recently so obviously because I got the necklace so I was trying to hunt down the matching item for this line so I finally tracked down I think the last pair in Canada so it came uh, much much later and uh, I think it I think you guys probably know which one it is here they are aren't they the cutest little thing ever oh my gosh these earrings are absolutely stunning i feel like if you can still get your hands on it which is going to be really hard because like i said it is from the past season um but still possible i honestly should have tried to get my hands on these earlier obviously i was distracted by a lot of things um and then I decided that no, I don't need more more costume jewelry, but no, no, no. These these ones are too good to miss. So there you have it. I have the matching earrings to the necklace. And that is also the reason why I now want the pearl version of the the same line. So it's the size up, the pearl, the heart that is the size up, the medium size. And I know for a fact that that one is actually sold out in Canada. So if any of you see it, let me know where I can find it. <laughs> that one would be a wonderful addition to these earrings. This necklace is perfect for a lot of, you know, more casual wear. Um, but obviously it still goes really well together. But I think having the pearl one would be amazing. So that's my reveal part number two for Chanel. Now let's unbox what I have here from Hermes. So I got the magazine for fall winter 2021 and it's actually a really good magazine the first story in this one talks about um, the founder himself and it's such an amazing story definitely have a read if you're one of my luxury live show members or one of my channel members you would have seen these items already as you can see by the shape of it it's another silk scarf and it's such a beautiful pattern. Someone said that it reminds them of Versace, which I would have to agree. It's just a very neutral pattern. And most importantly is the color because it did come in three different colors. 
navy burgundy and then this ivory color it just contrasts it really well with my skin tone and i will style it with a couple of the outfits behind me and you'll see that it looks really really gorgeous uh either worn as a top or even just draped around your neck so this one is called the lift profile in the cream beige and gray color which is absolutely stunning i love almez silk my silk scarf collection from almez is absolutely growing and uh, yeah big big fan of their silks it's one of those affordable luxury if you're not interested in their bags which i totally understand their silks are definitely um the top of the list of items that you could still get without breaking the bag so finally i have this as well last unboxing so of course the shape gives it away yes it is another pair of shoes and it will make total sense when i show them to you it is the paris loafers so i do own two other pairs of loafers from Hermes already i have the royal loafers in gold tan color and then i have the colette loafers in white so these are very similar to the royal loafers without the tassels and they are absolutely gorgeous classic well-made comfortable and this is how the bottom looks like so if you're interested in any of the items that i featured including my own items i will have everything linked down below so you can find it easily again just a reminder my farfetch 10 percent discount code is only good for 30 days from today and it is amy 10 yt if you're brand new to my channel don't forget to subscribe i would really love to have you back and you can also further support me by becoming a channel member yes we have exclusive content for members only hence some of the previewed items that i've already unboxed previously that you would have already seen but uh yeah thank you so much for watching uh have a great day and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye